Good morning, guys. Oh, oh, it looks like I'm getting a phone call. Wait, it's Brad? It's not Bolt? Hey, hey, Brad, how's it going? Man, it's going great. I, I picked up a little special surprise for us here. Uh-huh. I think I, you're going to like it. Well, I saw you took the skid steers. I saw you took the two bobcats. Yeah, I, I did. You'll, you'll you see. Do, I'm, just, do. I'm just around the corner. Okay, well, Bolt's supposed to get here anytime. I I'm I got to call him, too. He was supposed to be here way before you. But I got the, the class dealership all cleared out, so that's good. And we'll, we'll start now. You said you're just around the corner? Yeah, I'm just uh, passing the uh, John Deere dealership almost. So. Uh, I think I can see you. All right. Well, I'm going to... All right. Yeah, I can see you. I'm going to try and give Bolt a call real quick. Let me hang up on you. All right. Sounds good. All right. Bolt's number. There we go. Bolt better answer. He was supposed to be here 35 minutes ago. And he said he had something... He, he's bringing in the wheel loader and the new Holland and he was supposed to be here a long time ago And I needed that for this. I had to push this with my truck, which took a long time It would have been nice to have the wheel loader, but here's a oh, bolt didn't answer gosh dang it I think he actually ended the call. Well, here's Brad. Oh, there we go How did he fit that on there? Plus he had to fold up the ramps boss plows or boss box plows Brad, this looks awesome, man. Yeah, I, I thought you'd be pretty excited on it. This is uh, this is sick This is so cool and then, okay, so those just, those hook up. And then, okay, I see the hydraulic ports. Are they, yeah. are the skid steers big enough to run those? Yeah, they are. Well, uh, you can, well, you know, we have weights in the back. Yeah, yeah. I wonder, I wonder what's going to do better, the tracks or the tires with the chains? Yeah, so I put, I, I decided to make the executive decision to put chains on the tires uh -huh. and the track just so we can kind of see, you know, what's, what's going to work good and not, you know. I love the plows. This is going to work out. The plows are gonna be deadly for driveways and just small areas. That's for gonna sure. be that's gonna be sick. So, I, and I think you're gonna be interested to see how I got the bobcat on there. <laughs> yeah, I I was wondering how you got the ramps folded, the mega ramps. Dang. Well, I I had. Oh, go ahead. Um, yeah. What are What's you? Up? What is this? Um, I thought I'm you were CJ. Hard. No, I'm me. I found a Unimod. I told you to bring that in New Holland with our Kenworth. But the Unimod work. I don't know if it works, man. Okay, actually, looking at what? it, it looks like you have way too much weight on that trailer. It's Wait, lifting you up your truck. I'm seeing down here. Yeah, no, I see it. It's you like don't a, even need those ramps. <laughs> it's like a teeter totter or something. <laughs> you could jump on the either side. What? Okay. Are your are the back wheels even on the ground? It should be. It's four wheel drive. I bet he. Oh my goodness. Man, um, this is sketchy. I would like to see you go in two wheel drive, bolt. And see how that pulls. Um, oh, boy. I don't think the Unimog go into a wheel drive. It's only four, of course, because the Unimog's yeah. a beast. But uh, let's. How do you, you you just back it right off the end of the trailer? Sure. Why not? No, I, I'm asking you. Like, is that what you do, or how did you get it on there? That's the real question. I had multiple pieces of wood. Okay. And I stacked wood all okay. the way down, and then I just backed it off. But how to get off of the trailer now? Uh, all right. Well, whose trailer this is, is this? This isn't mine. Um, it might be. It's not mine. I don't have a trailer Wait. like this. Um. All right, I'm gonna unload the new Holland now. Make sure I don't scratch anything. Talk to me. I guess yell at me, but you'll be is, fine. This is gonna be kind of sketchy. Oh, yeah. oh it trailer gonna bounce up when you. Is you know you got a parking brake on the Unimog for for yeah, what that's worth? The whole trailer doesn't jump up when you fall. Off. All right, I I got you. Whoa, whoa. There we go. I think I just had to send it. There yeah, you, you almost scraped, but I, I think you're good. Maybe I, a little paint came off, but... All right, let's hook up to this plow, and then we... Guys, we have a lot of work to do. We... I have four commercial uh, lots we need to knock out, possibly five, depending on who did what. We'll figure that out. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, uh, Spencer, what, uh, what do we got going on today? Yeah, so I just got done with this dealership. Bolt was supposed to be here to help me out with this, but now that I got you guys here, we have Wells Fargo Bank... Uh, BP gas okay. station. Uh, those are the first two off the top of my head, and then, um, and then I think I think we're gonna knock out the John Deere dealership right across the road. Okay. And I think one more, but with so we just wanna with the uh, with the new Holland, and I was thinking two two uh, skid steers. That's gonna be the move. Yeah. Uh, well, I, here's what I'm thinking. I think yeah. that you should probably just take the John Deere dealership, and then I can go hit Wells Fargo, and what was the other one? Wells Fargo, oh, the gas station's going to use the, uh, yeah, okay. use the Bobcats for the gas station. We might okay. need a plow truck in there, too. But. All right, well, then I, mm. Yeah, I can, uh, I'll run the, I'll run the John Deere dealership with the New Holland. 
Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's a good idea. Or, or do you guys want to stick together? I kind of want to be together. I get bored. Sure, we can be together. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Also, I saw your call call right now. Yeah. Well, no, dude, you you hung up on me, Bolt. It like um, it didn't even go the full thirty seconds. It was no, like ten I seconds. I saw your call now. Definitely just oh, saw your call now. Oh, dude, and I bet you're playing a video game while driving. I've caught oh, you doing boy. that before. Was that you in the middle of the road back there? Just yeah. Stopped. Um, he was probably no, paying his last round oh, of Angry okay. Birds or something. It was not me. It was, a different, or it was a different Unimog than a All right, Roller. enough horsing okay. around, Bolt. I'm going to drive the New Holland. Bolt, you take the Unimog. Brad, take the... Uh, I'll take the Bobcat. Yeah. Take take and that I'll, load. I can bring my... Oh, well, no, he's got the Unimog, so we're bring, fine. Bring your truck with that. Okay. But just pull the trailer down. Yeah, I'll just pull the trailer down. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Hey, what do you say where we're going? Follow me. Listening. Follow me. All right, boys, we're hitting the John Deere dealership real quick. It's going to be nice. I'm going to try and get a good solid push here so those guys can come in and clean up. Now, I could do this by myself, but I didn't want to go by myself. That would, that would have been boring. All right, let's try and make this tur turn. I got a lot of snow here. There we go. The only bad thing about these box plows is sometimes when we have so much snow, it's hard to push a big pile. There we go. Keep going, baby. All right, not a, not a bad push. So, bolt. Oh, actually brought his snowmobile too so again he was supposed to be your way earlier didn't even know he was bringing the unimog so it looks like he loaded up his snowmobile took the unimog i told him to take the kenworth because he wants he loves the unimog him and cj just love that thing and i don't know why but it is a pretty cool plow truck though and that plow on there is stupid big it is uh that could take out some drift so that's why he was 35 minutes late i think um and then he was playing video games what does he need to answer my call all right, guys, so we're going to run a quick time lapse. Hopefully you enjoy, and I can't wait to see. I want to jump in one of those skid loaders here by the end of, uh, especially just this site, too. Uh, that's pretty this looks pretty good this is clean it looks really good i am surprised that was that was about the best setup you two knocking out the little stuff and i'm just coming in and just moving but you guys cleaned up around the building and in the in the parking spots sidewalks that was easy that was easy so this is the biggest one by far we're gonna head over to bp next they just texted me and said they need it cleaned uh like right away so All what right. i'm thinking and cj's on his way we're gonna have two skid steers so we'll load those up and then i might almost detach because i i kind of want the, tr the the two skid steers might be able to do it too um and then we'll, we'll just knock out the gas station and i'll drop you guys off and then me and cj can go finish uh okay. we might go to wells fargo it's pretty close or the closest one next to it so yeah i'll just i can just drive the skid steer down there it's not too far you think it? Uh, no it's not too bad well then i'm going to i'm going to bring the trailer over and detach and then Which, if you're just gonna um, bring the trailer over it won't take that long to load them up yeah but maybe it maybe it wouldn't be too uh, bad to well, we can just drive them yeah it's, yeah it's not it's not too far i don't think no it's right down uh there. are you gonna go get your dealership am i gonna get what your truck to plow at the dealership or you can just no no i'll use your truck and i'll just drop all the right. plow off or the trailer off right here so let's right, uh let's, let's wait for cj it. and then we'll head out okay all right guys walk in and walk in can everybody hear me everybody on the right channel yep we're on the right channel no i cannot hear you you can't well quiet down all right, guys, what I'm thinking is uh, you guys go ahead and put your plows first. Then me and me and Bolt will knock out the little stuff. Yeah, that's good. Get a first Are we push doing in. the whole parking lot here? Yep, Sorry. everything. And then me and Bolt will go around those pumps. So don't don't go in there just to be safe. Don't go by the door. Me and Bolt will take all that stuff. All right, guys, so I'm in the skits here now. I got the tracked version. I, I want to try both them out by today and kind of see what i like best the tires with the chains or the track version okay i did not see that concrete slab there that's what my plow is getting hung up on 
but these are deadly we can get so close to the building so close to everything clean up all the little mistakes and dribbles and really get a lot of work done so it's it's i i love snow plowing with these this is uh this is the best setup i would have to say now the new holland obviously if i had to pick one to knock out a huge parking lot i would do the new holland wheel loader with a ginormous boss box plow but uh but this is pretty crazy this is super nice so i like this setup and as a team we are absolutely knocking it out that last john deere dealership we got paid 700 dollars just to clear that out obviously it costs us a lot and we have to pay the guys but if you think about it that took us 35 minutes four guys so that was uh that wasn't too shabby i'm gonna see if i can clean up these here i can turn my hazards i'm gonna see if i can clean up these parking spots see it's just tough with the big plows and their trucks and stuff to come through here and clean it. i'm gonna wait for them to get this nice and purdy especially to clean up like the sidewall see the box plow is just so good at like making no dribbles and that's that's why it's like just so versatile there we go very clean and it's it's a bluebird day it's honest it's really sunny i might shades on even though i'm in the cab and the cab is kind of like tinted a little bit which is kind of nice but if you guys do enjoy today's episode uh, let me know by hitting the like button always appreciate it and uh and yeah we we got a lot going on tomorrow i want to uh if we get all of our accounts done and it looks like it's holding off on snow so i was thinking there's enough snow especially out in the country it blew the ditches are super full so i was wanting to take everybody out and take our well bolt already brought his snowmobile he thought we were going to be snowmobiling today but he he's wrong we are not snowmobiling today that's uh it was it was funny i i told him to get here and of course he he has his snowmobile on the unimog but i do want to take the guys out snowmobiling probably tomorrow to hit some ditches especially some of them haven't snowmobiled before and none of them have uh snowmobiled the ditches so we are uh oops oh yeah that was my fault that, i shouldn't have been there there was no point for me to be there all right so here's where we're kind of struggling right now is we need to take this pump snow out try and push it out and then it looks like he's feeding a <laughs> bolt over there so I'm gonna try and there we go, try and push oops i kind of pushed some too much real quick guys i'm trying to figure out how how are we gonna get this snow out of here it, ju it just sucks because we have the bank and then we have brad's trying to push that snow but it's like it's like we have nowhere to put it yeah no there's not like we could probably make a pile over here maybe but so you want cj you want us to keep pushing this your way and then you'll just keep taking it sure watch that. out sorry yep you got oh no 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 the unimog dude oh my goodness okay i'm gonna you made it over. yeah that is uh that's pretty crazy try and maybe angle it I, it's tough this is i would angle job. it out to the road and then the plow will come by and push it back in and then all they will have to do is like shovel a little bit yeah this is a really tough job there is uh okay we're kind of making it hard on cj but there's nowhere to take this we can't put it like onto the road yeah the only then people need to drive on the road yeah people need to drive on the road it's just uh yeah this is not easy yeah guys this looks uh you guys were just talking about it. this looks super clean and then bolt where did you get that plow dude you i went to get a different plow i, I don't I like was, the boss plow. i was plowing for about 10 minutes and i looked to my right and i was like wait is that our is that bolt and then he's got a new plow in there so i don't like your plow you didn't like so it find a new one somewhere. okay well that's fine at least we're more even more versatile but guys we gotta hit up the motel real quick and then we gotta do applebee's which literally we do have to be kind of careful with this motel it's kind of the same setup nowhere to put the snow and we should probably come up with a plan because we why don't we go ahead why don't we just open the windows and put it into the open the rooms. windows and just crank the heat and have a swimming pool yeah brad is still plowing over there. yeah brad's uh brad's Dude, this looks so clean. This is so nice. And we and we did Wells Fargo back, the the back parking lot of Wells Fargo. I didn't know whose that was, but we just went ahead and did that. What do you guys think? Just wait, Bolt. What do you guys think for this motel? I plow all the snow up. Oh, into wait. They have a really big... No, right here. They have a really big grass section. I was wrong. Oh, we have to do. We can probably get all the snow. We don't want to block the view of the motel, though. I'm sure they wouldn't be happy. Let's um, see. Let's see how big it is. 
sign. Maybe more towards the corner versus. Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. Let's, uh, CJ, maybe let us do a few. Okay, go. You're good. Maybe let us do a All few right. passes and then you move the big stuff. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Okay. CJ, let us know when Bragg comes, uh, when he's done with his section there. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Come behind you, Bolt. All right, we got to take some of this and push it out here to the grass. There we go. We'll try and scrape up that sidewalk. This is in. All right, I'm kind of tight in here. Just wait for the Unimog to pass. There we go. But yeah, see, like, it's just, I think this is the best setup. Let me know what you guys think. If I were to pick one snow pile. Oh, there we go. All I'm doing is just pushing it right onto the grass. It's not too bad. And then he's, uh, he's trying to feed. There you go. We're making a pretty big pile. So we pushed a lot of the snow underneath the sign. Okay, Brad's just getting done. We're already getting the motel done by the time he gets back. Oh God, there we go. I don't know. I don't want to put too much by the entrance in case some old lady's pulling in and can't drive a little Cadillac, can't see over the snow mound. See, there's a lot to think about when moving snow. Like I said, we can't make a huge pile and block this place. So we kind of like dispersed it. And then we can't have big piles right on the corner for safety reasons. So it's a lot more than just pushing snow. There she is, guys. We knocked around. It's so clean in, in okay, when, no, CJ, no. All right, he sees me. I was I was scared for a second there. We're gonna run over to Applebee's real quick, and I don't I don't think that's gonna take much. I think they have a little bit of frontage, a little bit around, not the biggest, the biggest one. And I was surprised is 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 BP. One thing I didn't realize when quoting them was how tough the snow was gonna be when when we actually had to place it there. I thought I could put a little bit by the sign and a little bit right here, but that filled up really quick, and uh, and yeah, obviously going around gas pumps isn't terrible, but all right, guys, let's head to uh, let's head to Applebee's. Okay, That's sounds the, like a plan. Has anybody oh. talked to Brad? Oh, he's knocking I, out Wells Fargo. Well, there you go. He's sure been he's busy doing other things. He's busy, busy, busy. I don't know. Maybe the uh, the bank guy came out and told him to do it or something. Yeah, may, I didn't. I didn't know. Oh, maybe maybe we did have an account with him. He has to sheet all the accounts. So, uh, but uh, yeah, okay. maybe you're right. I could really see them just saying hey come flowers so let's head to applebee's yeah. real quick this one shouldn't be too bad all right guys so this one's a tough one again it's we're gonna have to pull it from the building and then we have again sign is our uh is probably our big, biggest biggest lot to put snow there's a pretty big grass spot there and then there's some on the back side we won't use that maybe push it across the dollar general if they don't mind As Applebee's is done, now all people can come in on Sundays and Mondays for $5.99 burgers and fries at the neighborhood grill. That is uh, that is awesome. Applebee's done. We got a little bit of cleaning up to do. They'll knock that out real quick. But we we got five accounts done. Okay, we'll have to clean it up a little bit more. We wanted to get some snow off that pole, but it is uh, we we get it so clean with these box plows. That's what makes them so good, and. Uh, when I say box, I, I mean box because... Oh, no. All right. <laughs> Thank goodness. He's pretty good driving. I, I, I say boss and box because boss is the name plow, but then the box is the is the uh, side catchers on the end, if, if you want to say. So that's the move. We are done for today. I want to surprise them tomorrow with some snow mobiling if we don't get more work tomorrow. If we don't snow, uh, if it doesn't snow tomorrow, so we don't have to do more jobs or if people don't call want more snow removal so with that being said i will see you all tomorrow hopefully snowmobiling hitting the ditches banging the ditches and uh yeah thank you guys for watching peace out and i'll see you all in the next one